so in this video we will update the retry power on step so that it automatically selects the continue button if we do not respond to the prompt in the computer 2 sequence file that we created in the previous tutorial let's go to the sequence file window and let's select retry power on step let's go to the text and uh, buttons tab of the step settings pane so let's go to the button options section and then go to the timeout button let's select button number two as the timeout button and let's enter 20 in time to wait in seconds this will instruct the step to wait for 20 seconds before continuing this technique is useful if an operator is not present to acknowledge a non critical message during testing so let's save the changes let's go to execute and select single pass so let's fail this power on test the power on test is run it's failed and the retry power on is now called let's not click it and wait for it to click the continue button by itself it will wait for 20 seconds as we had specified and it's uh, now continued the CPU tests are going on we are back in the main sequence tests are going on and the tests are done and the report is now going to generate so let's just close it so let's drag this newly uh, modified step that's been modified from the template and let's drag it back and let's rename it to time out retry so we can use this new template step in a sub subsequent development the sequence editor automatically saves the template list when we shut down the sequence editor and we can now close the sequence file So we do not need this uh, tutorial folder uh, in the template list and we can delete the folder. Let's right click it and choose delete to remove the folder. The test end is uh, warning us that we are about to delete an item. We cannot undo the operation. Do you want to continue? Yes.